Hi, I'm Bruce. And I'm Emery. And today I'm going to show you how I made this lathe cart for my new lathe. And Emery helped me putting the tools in here. Today I'm going to build a new cart for my lathe I just picked up. There are quite a few lathe carts out there that people have built and they're gonna be way fancier than what I'm gonna build. What I'm building is a simple, easy, quick, kind of two by four construction. The style of the new car is going to be much like this one that I built for my miter saw not too long ago. So it's gonna have basic two by four construction, probably a plywood platform top. I've got some scrap plywood. I'm not gonna have two shelves here because it's going to be much lower than this one. So with one space, um, I probably want to do some kind of a drawer, a uh, very narrow drawer. And if there's still room for an open shelf, that will allow me space to put a few turning blanks that I've already glued up or acquired there and they're ready. I started off by measuring the overall top surface needed. I cut down a piece of scrap plywood to rough size for the top. Then I started on the base. I figured out my measurements of how tall the overall cart needed to be. I was sure to measure the casters I would be using so I could subtract them from the overall height. So I'm not very far into this project and I've already messed up. Let me point it out so that maybe if you build something similar you won't make them the same mistake. I was measuring 46 and an eighth to be my overall height. So then I started subtracting the casters and what they would be and the plywood top and what they would be. And I came upon that number and I just started cutting my two by fours. I started looking at them. They looked strangely too tall. What I forgot to subtract was that height was to the center of the spindle. Well, that's not what we're building a cart to. We have to build the cart from the, I had to subtract from the spindle down to the cart top where it sits. And that was another 13 and a half inches. So I was off by just a foot. After making the correction to the height of the pieces, I began assembling the base. Then I connected the two side pieces to one another. And I had to test out the string. I marked where the casters would go and secured those with a few screws and washers. Next, I cut the plywood top to final dimension and gave it a quick sanding. I made some walnut edge banding from a scrap piece I had. I cut this on the bandsaw. Then I flipped the cart upside down to add a few pocket holes. I didn't want holes in the top, so I used pocket holes to secure the top. Next, I broke out my 45 degree miter sled to cut the edge banding. I'm still really pleased with this thing. I just secured the edge banding with a few brad nails and some glue. There was a dinged up spot on the plywood I used, so I added a little sawdust and some wood glue to fill in the gap. I turned a quick knob off camera 
and I used a piece of walnut for that so it would tie into the edge banding I used. I just coated this with a little bit of paste wax. Then I grabbed some scraps of plywood to make the bottom shelf. I wanted a drawer that could hold my extra lay supplies, so I put together a quick, shallow drawer. I've never made wooden runners for a drawer, so I wanted to try that out. drawer to slide easily and not rack side to side I'm just going to put up a couple of rails here but that way when the drawer slide in here it will um, it will prevent it from being able to rack and kind of fall out the side it'll create a, a makeshift rail for it The drawer front was made a good bit larger than the actual drawer, so it would look nicer once closed. I wanted a place for my turning tools to be close, so I drilled out a few holes in a 2x4. A simple round over on those and it finished them off nicely. On the other side of the cart, I added a couple of dowels for a face shield and a respirator. Then I put a couple of coats of water-based polyurethane on the whole thing and added some paste wax to any of the moving drawer parts. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would, please click that thumbs up button. That tells YouTube that you liked what you saw and they will show it to more people and help my channel grow. And if you're not already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the team and click that notification bell so that as soon as I upload something, you'll see it. I really like the way this lathe cart turned out. Uh, it's a simple, basic one. Uh, I've dressed it up a little bit with a little bit of trim and a knob that I turned on the actual lathe. This is for my Nova Comet 2. It is a 12 inch mini lathe. And um, the workbench I was using it on was slightly too high. I needed it to be a little bit lower for ideal height. I put a drawer in it so that I could keep all of my tools in here that go with the lathe, some calipers, different chucks. 
Everything else was built either just out of a few two by fours or some scraps. I'm not just crazy about the, the way this bottom looks because some of the plywood is oriented differently. You know, I don't have a continuous grain pattern, but you know what? I didn't pay for any of this. It was left over from other projects. And I didn't have a single piece that would have worked across here. So I just made it work. This is gonna be for extra storage for some turning blanks and other things that I acquire. I really like how this turned out for some tool storage for my cutting tools. I just drilled some holes in here and these will stand here beside that. I added a dowel for my uh, face shield as well as a dust mask. Again, thanks for coming along this journey. I really like how the simple lathe cart turned out and I will see you next time.